Sports Beyond Wrestling. This is Denver, Colorado. The man, not the place. We've got a first time encounter between Dan Barry and Steve the Turtle Whiner. Now this is Dan Barry's first single match with Beyond Wrestling since he debuted, defeating Corvus Fear, playing spoiler, and preventing Corvus Fear from becoming the number one ranked wrestler at the Gospel of the Boards taping. We saw him team with Frankie Arion at the Miracle Workers event, but now he's back looking for more singles action against Steve the Turtle Whiner. And Steve the Turtle Whiner has not had the best record here in Beyond Wrestling, but he certainly has a lot of heart and passion. Albeit the way he expresses it is pretty bizarre. And who's that fellow with him by ringside? Who, who is this guy that the Turtle brought with him to the match? like the turtle has found himself a manager. Whoever this guy is, he's telling Turtle that his goal is to become the number one wrestler in Beyond Wrestling. Turtle has his work cut out for him, especially against an opponent like Dan Barry. What is Turtle doing here? Perhaps using those mind games to psych out his opponent. But with a veteran like Dan Barry, it's kind of hard to throw him off his game. Although Dan Barry, you know, he's been competing for close to 10 years. You've got to think that he's seen it all. But has he ever been in the ring with a competitor like Steve the Turtle Whiner? Able to take the turtle down. But getting tripped up by the shell of Steve the Turtle Whiner. Now Dan Barry arguing with the official whether or not turtle should be allowed to wear that. He is a turtle, therefore it is regulation wrestling attire. At least for him. Now, now Turtle's manager telling him that he won the match. That's not the case at all. A little bit of a miscommunication between Steve the Turtle Whiner and his manager. Or his alleged manager. I have to think that that's what this guy is doing right here. He's trying to lead Turtle to a victory. Dan Barry leading some of the other wrestlers on ringside, telling Turtle to shut up. Close his mouth and wrestle. Dan Barry and Turtle locking up once again. This is not the position that the Turtle wants to find himself in. He's not gonna be able to match technical wrestling with Dan Barry. See, as soon as he had a counter, Dan Barry was immediately able to go right back into that wrist lock. Turtle trying to roll through to alleviate the pressure, but not quick enough. And Dan Barry just driving his knee into the shoulder. Turtle trying to fight back up to his feet. Still has that wrist bent, getting to the ropes, which is gonna force the referee to break the hole. But Dan Barry instead following the turtle the outside of the ring. Turtle dropping down, still unable to break the hole. Now we see Turtle's manager trying to get involved. Dan Barry tying both of them up. Now Turtle's got his manager in a headlock, all controlled by Dan Barry. And turtle turns right around into that chop, which takes him down to the concrete. Looks like Pinky Sanchez, who's had a run in with Steve the Turtle Whiner in the past, wants Dan Barry to throw him into his foot. Turtle elevating Barry up and over, but Barry using the momentum off the ropes to kick Turtle into the chairs. And now sending his manager right into him. And these two find themselves in a precarious position. in this crushed velvet green suit who's gonna be giving Turtle advice. He's not doing too good of a job right now. Dan Barry keeping the Turtle in position. Oh, just double stomping him right on the back of his head. Receiving applause from some of the wrestlers on ringside. Not sure what to make of this situation with the Turtle, this change of heart. No longer relying on his own ability, but seeking the advice of others. Barry following him back into the ring. Oh, just clubbing away. I'm gonna send Turtle for the ride. Dan Perry comes charging in, elevated up and over once again, but again trying to maintain his balance. But this time Turtle kicking away at the ropes. Dan Barry losing his balance and tumbling to the outside. Check on him, check on him. He's hurt. As we've seen with the previous tapings here, these ropes with the string are not the most stable. 
Now this guy in this green velvet suit is choking away at Dan Barry. Steve the Turtle Liner wants to start picking up wins at Beyond Wrestling. That's not the way to do it. In fact, very rarely do we see any competitors with a manager here at Beyond Wrestling. To the best of my knowledge, it's only happened once before for one other match. A competitor by the name of Alexander Rudolph brought a manager to the WrestleTopia taping. Dan Perry going for that victim kick. Neglecting the fact that Steve the Turtle Winer has that shell on. Ended up injuring himself in the process. What was Turtle doing here? Going for the nose. And continuing to stop away on the foot of Dan Perry. Dan Perry likes to use a number of those kicks. Turtle caught him right there. And driving him by the foot down to the mat. Turtle just jumping down with all of his weight on the foot of Dan Barry. Looks like he's going to continue to target that ankle. Of course, Dan Barry, he goes by the moniker remarkably average, but we know that's not the case. So for Turtle, for Turtle to be targeting the ankle, it's going to remove some of those kicks and some of those high flying holds from Dan Barry's moveset. Barry here trying to find a counter, able to use leverage. Retrieve his foot, just slapping Turtle right in the face and following up with an elbow. And again, not sure if Turtle had the proper application of that hold. Not enough to put Dan Barry away. Barry trying to drive Turtle down with that suplex. Now Dan Barry with that standing moves all right into the pin. An effective maneuver, but Turtle kicking out nevertheless. Looks like we've heard the referee. Brett Lauderdale referred to this manager on the outside by name. I believe he called him Butterscotch. I'm gonna say this guy does look familiar, but. Nevertheless, Turtle able to reverse the Irish whip. Comes charging in shell first. Dan Barry crushed between Turtle and the corner. Now Turtle going for that Kingdom Heart style choke slam. And instead going for the pin, stumbling around. And Dan Barry's on at one. Turtle taking way too much time. I mean, maybe this guy does need some guidance in order to be effective in the professional wrestling game. We've seen Turtle make a number of appearances for Chikara. Dan Barry's wrestled up and down the East Coast in his time. But Turtle taking too much time. Barry's going to continue with the kicks. Turtle again, putting the reversal on the Irish whip. Dan Barry going for that sunset flip, and Turtle just falling on him with all of his weight. Shell first. But Dan Barry still out on a counter too. That was a close call. That was a good effective counter from Steve the Turtle Liner. Now this Butterscotch fellow, he's up on the apron. He's got a chain. He's trying to give the Turtle a chain. Turtle trying to avoid the help. Gets kicked right in the back of the head. Oh, and that spinning soul butt. And another kick right to the face. Fuck this guy. Dan Barry going for that running punch. He got clocked by... He got clocked right in front of the ref's view. The ref's going to count this? Are you going to be kidding me? What the hell? What? Why would the referee allow this? This is stupid. Show. This man, one clean, points go to him. Lauderdale knew this knew this guy by name. He called him Butterscotch. Did these guys work out some agreement in the back? We're seriously gonna have to look into this. I can't even believe this. What the hell?